I got hit by a car. I was, I was living in the country. I have a scar right here from it. I rolled from the front of the car to the back underneath like a ball. They got me to the hospital. I could see myself on the operating table at this end, and I could see the light at this end. And I'm drifting back and forth. Going up towards the light, I said, Father, am I coming home? And that's all I can remember. When I came to, which was 15 days later, I was in a coma for 15 days. After the 10th day, they said if I pull through, it would be a miracle. So evidently it wasn't my turn. Amen. And Amen. even in those five days, I was, it was still touch and go. And when I was brought up in Bethlehem, I belonged to an Indian tribe up there, and we are told to give your heart, your soul, and your spirit to the Lord. In turn, He gives you the Holy Spirit, which means you live in have the Holy Spirit for eternity. Amen. So I trust in the Lord. Amen. 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 Let me come up and eat. tell him about your scar. Uh, uh, let me, well, let me, let me help you. Uh, take it back. Yeah. It's very simple. This is the type of way, way Bob is. He just gives it to you very quietly and simply. And that's it. He doesn't enhance it, embellishes it, whatever. But what Bob has experience, and you all have certainly heard this, the uh, the tunnel that people, the near-death experience, and some people, like a lot of folks of the world, laugh at you when you talk about it, when someone is trying to explain what death is like. And, uh, and we who are Christians know that God has shown us that we don't ever die the body. This flesh and blood <coughs> gives up but there's somebody inside here, right? Right, David? There's yep. a David inside. There's a Lillian inside. There's a Tom inside there. That's what's keeping going on, and that's what Bob saw. Bob saw an experience, had an experience of going through the tunnel to the light. You see it on television. What is the name of the show we watch? The lady that's that... That's by an angel. That, yeah, no, well, right. that's right, Angel. It's way back there. Then we got a new one now, where the lady sees the people uh, ghost and whispers. ghost whispers, mm -hmm. ghosts walking around, and she's talking to them because they haven't gone to the light yet. But Bob has has done that, so that blesses my heart. <clears throat> when I was a young kid, I was afraid of death. But as I got older and, and kept hearing this from so many people that have had that we had a couple of men in our full gospel that he got through the light, he got to the light, and got inside. And he was told, it's not your time, go back. So that's what he went through. You never know seeing Bob walking around talking to you. That God, he has a phenomenal supernatural experience, folks. The spiritual part of it that we don't understand. And thank you for it so much. Anybody got any questions to ask? Yeah. <laughs> How do you know he was done? Huh? Maybe he wasn't done. Uh, well, no, he isn't done. He's still standing here. Yeah. Amen? He's got a few more years, a hundred years, hopefully. No. Another 20 years. <laughs> 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 you say it's done speaking. It's done speaking. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. Yes, because he knew he was going to do a short speech. Excuse me. And Sandra is the one that we're going to bring up for a little more. Yes, go ahead. <laughs> I, I, just, I just wanted to know, when you came out of the, the coma, um, first of all, the, the rehab that you had to go to was it extensive and... She was six years old. Well, you don't remember, do you remember? It to Bob, but it changed to me. Um, when I was born, my mm -hmm. father was in the Navy, and I was born a, a premature baby. I was only a pound and 11 ounces. And back then, it was touch and go, touch and go. I was born in October, 
and I was in the hospital until January. Wow. They fed me with a feeding tube. Mm -hmm. And I only remember what my family had told me. And can you just imagine a pound of potatoes or a mm -hmm. pound of meat? Yeah. That's the size I was. Mm -hmm. And I'm just blessed with the Lord that the Lord had kept me here. And then I met my husband and we're together for life until the Lord brings us home. Amen. Amen. Let's give it. Right. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, okay. good. Quick question. It seems like they're they're really good buddies. <laughs> the, the, she comes, Pat comes to the Bible study and everything. I want to know, Bob, how did you meet your wife, and how did you get lucky? You know. Was <laughs> 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 well, working at a How old were you? I was working at Gore with just the Ellsberg Circle. Bar where national liquidations used to be. Yeah. And it was like fields with you guys. Yeah. I was working under security. So I happened to pick up a lady shoplifter. And it was her? No. <laughs> 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 I'm going down the aisle and I happen to see her standing there pulling towels and I go, You come with me. <laughs> so I caught two with one. <laughs> I caught the lady shoplifter and my wonderful wife. <laughs> and, and these two are truly, truly meant for each other. Amen. Truly Amen. And, Amen. and we love them. They're such a dear couple. And thank you so much. The only reason I caught her was not besides the shoplifter, but the <laughs> assistant manager of the store asked me when I come back from the police station from booking her. He says, are you going to ask her out for a date? <laughs> so I went over and I asked her, and I said, I'm not taking no for an answer. Amen. Give me a hand clap for her. How did you get to, when you were saying that you were lived in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania? Yes, ma'am. How did you get to be with this Indian tribe? Well, my aunt and uncle belong to one. And I decided to join them. Oh, okay. And you were and a thank you. But at the time of the accident, I, you were only six years old? Five or six. That's when I learned about you turn your heart, your soul, and spirit to the Lord, and He will in turn give you Amen. the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 And we are taught not to lie. Amen. That is true. That's true. That's good. About Indians. <laughs> when we got married in 1982, um, we got married at the ha at the Thornton Baptist Church behind Queen of Heaven on 70, mm -hmm. and um, then our pastor retired in um, Florida, I believe. So I said to Bob, we have to, we have to go to a church. So Bob walked Haddonfield with his coffee cup for one year. And I said, you know what? You should be outside, you should be inside, because you're part of me, you're part of the Lord. So he came in, and to make a long story short, I'm not going to stay here all day, um, he worked with the church, and we're always telling people about how wonderful our church is, or how we have all kinds of activities. Yep, they do do that. And um, so then we had our vows renewed in... Um, 25th anniversary. This year will be 29. Praise God. And Michael, we renewed our vows. And we had a wonderful day. Yeah. And I'm just blessed that the Lord is right here. Amen. He followed me around all day. Praise God. He's he following me too. And Bob. Yes. And I'm you. He do that. Oh, oh. <laughs> He's God. Yes. Give a clap now, please.